what is up guys it's so bad welcome back we are going to take a look at the patch notes for the new mobile legends update coming up and the release date looks like it's going to be january the 20th so next friday be prepared you're going to have a patch if you are in the area that has not been updated yet patch notes read free weekly rotations and hero new skins Eight heroes this week from January 20th to January 27th. Balman, Alucard, Akai, Bane, Bruno, Clint, Hibusa, Kagura. Now, Starlight members also get Maya, Tigreal, Raffaella, Fanny, Gord, and Chow. So, that's for the next upcoming patch, guys. We're going to talk about the new hero skin, Yun Zhao. We just covered a video earlier today. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below for it pretty amazing graphic on this skin guys it's made by new tech hd resolution they have a lot better animation displays brand new skill effects we talked about that and he's going to cost 899 diamonds now the skill effect we will confirm some stuff about it in just a few minutes the hero balance adjustments they made so some big changes are coming with some heroes uh some people are, are not going to like these some people might like these but in my opinion, it's better for the game because it's in the end balancing things to make it a better overall experience for everyone, not just one person. Uh, as Gord reads Mystic Gush, they increased the AP bonus from 0.22 to 0.3. So they increased his attack power bonus. Uh, on, that's on Mystic Gush. Yun Zhao, Dragon Flurry damage bonus increase from 1.6 times to 1.8 times now i was speculating about this i didn't know if it was an actual ability that they were going to change or if it was just a particle effect and it was just lost in translation kind of thing but it is confirmed right now that they did change one of his abilities which is his passive dragon flurry the damage bonus is going up by two tenths of a percent not bad now, Lolita, the energy rocket, cooldown is reduced from 6 seconds to 4 seconds. The lasting time of the stun caused by the second hit decreases from 1.5 seconds to 1 second. Alright, this is really interesting. So, Lolita is getting a 2 second reduction on her stun ability, which is the energy rocket that just shoots out and hits somebody. Now, when it hits you the first time, it's obviously going to stun you for 1.5 seconds. But this is really neat because they are introducing the first thing that we're seeing that has what they call diminishing returns on it. Which basically, if she hits you again with that same ability within a set amount of time, it's only going to stun you for 1 second instead of 1.5 seconds. Now, Raffaella. Holy Baptism, the lasting time of control effect decreases from 1.7 seconds to 1.5 seconds, which means she's losing 0.2 seconds of her stun on her ultimate. Uh, that's what Holy Baptism is, if you did not know. The Holy Healing, basic healing amount, decreased by 40 points. Now that's really interesting. What part of the heal is being decreased? Because there's two parts to her heal now. It's her main part, which heals for 410 base heal to begin with, which heals herself. And her base also heals 100 to allies around her. Uh, and now I'm hoping that's just on her herself because maybe she was just too overpowered being able to heal herself way too much. Uh, but we will see in just a few days once this does come out. Now, Alpha, this is the big, big change. As we know, Alpha just came out a little over a week ago, guys. And he's already getting nerfed obviously everybody knew alpha was way too overpowered there was no conversation whatsoever that needed to be had alpha was just way too damn strong it was just obvious he was the number one winning legend in the game since he had been released all right so the armor growth increased from 3.72 to 3.88 now it's not a nerf that's an increase he does get a little bit better armor growth, which is better defense for him overall throughout the match. That's really nice. HP regen growth increased from 2.25 to 2.58. That's pretty nice as well. So you're going to sacrifice one thing, but we're going to get something else with this. Now, the total damage bonus was decreased from 1.5 to 1.2, and the basic damage decreases from 180 to 150. So which means his bonus attack that he was getting, his bonus damage that he was getting, instead of being 1.5 times damage now, it's only going to be 1.2, which is not too, too bad of a nerf. 
but the damage decrease from 180 to 30 that's a pretty good chunk uh, 30 damage is about half of a almost a full item uh, so that's a pretty big chunk of gold that they're just taking away from you so you're gonna have to farm basically about an extra seven to nine hundred gold to replace that right there on alpha now the sphere of alpha which is his ultimate the skill range was decreased from six to five point two basic damage decreased by 60 points on it as well so not only did it get a range nerf it got nerfed by taking damage away from it as well so he got a very thorough nerf top to bottom but he did get an increase on his defense so maybe that'll help balance some things out Afraid they did change some stuff on her as well godspeed strike the basic damage decreased by 30 points cooldown is adjusted from 7.5 to 7.65 and 6.5 to 5.5 seconds now it looks like they're toning some things down uh, with Freya as well and the wings of faith the range of the jump decreased from 5.7 to 5.2 which also means that her ultimate ability not her ultimate I'm sorry that is her leap that comes down actually no that was actually right the range of the jump decreases so that is her ability where she is able to jump and leap that range is decreased by 0.5 on it now Franco Fury Shock that's not his ultimate but his second ability the basic damage is decreased by 30 points on it it's the only little nerf Franco got out of this uh, he's probably the best one out of the bunch so far Saber enemies Bane now every attack of Saber's basic attack and skills with decreasing targets armor by five points it stacks up to 10 layers five times 10 that is 50 so you can decrease your targets armor by 50 points if you hit him that many times charge the skill range decrease from 5 to 4.5 so as you notice it's kind of a trend a lot of the legends are getting nerfed on their ranges uh, I actually kind of like this as you can see Alucard the next one ground splitter the range was decreased from 5 to 4.7 Ballman soul lock range decreased from 5 to 4.5 they're toning down the fighters to give some of these other characters a chance to shine I, I like this uh, change is always good let's take a look at the next one Adora optimized her moves and special effects improved her fighting actions and skill effects Thunderstruck summons a massive lightning to attack enemies and after a little delay it will deal damage to the target and nearby enemies dealing extra 15% damage to enemies who are affected by superconductor now the skill can be casted towards minions and jungle monsters so I have not really done a whole lot with Adora so if anybody can translate what these skills mean to me in the comments below would be much appreciated uh, might actually I just need to take a look at Adora and do a video on her now they did some battle uh, gr battleground adjustments uh, the battle spells assault which is kind of misleading assault is the one that makes you move faster I believe it's 42% for seven seconds currently that's being increased to 10 seconds so you get three more seconds out of that ability battle spell flicker they fixed the bug where you were not able to flick it in a specific direction Teleport distance decreased from 4.2 to 4, and its cooldown in brawl mode was adjusted to 60 seconds. Now, the third battle spell, which was weakened, that was changed. Skill effect is adjusted to decrease target's movement speed by 50% and physical attack and magic power by 50%, lasting 3 seconds. Range increased from 3 to 4.5. So, in turn, they did nerf some stuff, but they turned around and made three spells a lot better. So you have three better options to go with now going into battle. Now they did adjust the location of some turrets in the top lane, adjust the location of some bushes on the battlefield. I'm not sure which bushes they moved. Um, honestly, I like bushes. Bushes are fun. I like hiding in bushes and ganking people. So if, if they move my bushes, I would like to know where they move my bushes to. Um, if you feel the same way let me know I mean all right they did add some extra sound effects for the battle spells arrival uh, added color differences to more skills to better distinguish allied or enemy skills this is really cool I've noticed this recently on some of Maya's abilities and uh, it makes it a lot easier for you to determine you know if you should run in or if you should stay away uh, and overall it's gonna make for better team fights 
Uh, and the last page, they improved some stuff with the system. They're always working on trying to optimize the lagging issue, guys. It's not just you that lags. Everybody's got issues with it. It just depends on when and where and what you're connected to. Uh, and I mean, it's nothing that can be fixed overnight. There's too many devices. There's too many variables. Uh, just give them some time. The game's still really new. Uh, it's a really big company, it seems like. So hopefully they will be able to pick things up and get things running smoothly here very soon. Uh, they also did some improvements to hero images with less revealing dressing. So basically what they just said there is they made their characters look a little bit less slutty. Okay. Uh, they optimized the mystery shop and added voice to God in the Philippines and new loading tips. So that is the patch notes for 1.1.52, guys. If you have any questions about these notes, have any comments about anything that changed or just pissed off because something got nerfed, let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.